All right, what is going on, folks? Wits NFL here again. Uh, got a replay for you guys today. No live comms. Uh, this is just me going over it. Been a while since I've done one of these, and uh, this I've yeah, been live streaming mostly. But this is a game that I had in the Richelieu, which, if you don't know, is my favorite ship currently. Um, I think Flandre may take its place. Who knows? Uh, but in any case. I've been sitting on this one about a week. It's been, it's such a nasty game that I just, I had to do it. I don't normally go out of my way for these, but I had to do it because this one is just too much fun to watch. Um, we're on the map, I think it's Hotspot, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's what it's called. Um, in any case, we're in A. I like to be aggressive. I think if you're backing up in this ship, you are doing it wrong. So I like to push up. My original plan is to go around this rock to the right and maybe you know get some crossfires that way on the inside of the cap or you know who knows right uh, Atlanta goes ahead and gets spotted which I'm not too terrified of him anymore but I don't like being HE spam so I'm gonna try and take him out I take a shot at him uh, over pens nobody's surprised about that but I get 6500 off of him and he's not getting that back because he doesn't have heals uh, there's also a Poltava out there and an Iowa who has the bright idea to go flat broadside. So, you know what I have to try and do to them. Um, originally was going to go Iowa, but he's a little angled. Volta was just going flat. I take that shot, and wait. Undershot him a little bit. Um, he wasn't going quite as fast as I figured he was, so I just ended up hitting the thick part of the belt where I wasn't going to get a citadel. They go around that island. I recognize this, so I'm like, okay. Let me push around, get as close to that frontal island as possible. That way, when they come out, they'll have no choice but to be right in front of my guns where I can punish their broadsides again. And try to redeem that other shot. I get spotted, probably by something in B. Atlanta goes ahead and comes out, so let's get rid of this guy. Uh, take those shots, set the secondaries to target him. Another 5,600 damage. It is what it is. Um, go ahead and try and show some angle to him just so that way he can shoot at us, maybe send some torps, but I want him to overshoot the torps. That was my goal in doing this. I don't want to take heats, you know, load of four torps, right? I wait to damage con because I know torps are coming. There they are. Uh, plan kind of worked, but I end up taking one. I get the Atlanta, and that Leon has it out for me because that's what happens when you be aggressive. You're going to take shots. That's how it is. But... It's a calculated risk, and I made the right decision here. I get pretty well smashed for being a French battleship. That hurt quite a bit. Poltawa comes out flat broadside. Iowa comes out flat broadside. I was a bigger threat, so I'll shoot him first. Uh, pretty good results, 13k, but not what I was hoping for, right? I want to get these guys off the board before they end up doing too much damage to me, because I'm pretty low right now. 19,000 hit points, so i got to make quick work of them. Uh, Poltawa, still showing a flat broadside. He's in a Russian battleship. Those things get removed easily. So, I'm like, I gotta do this. And I wipe him out in a single shot. Now, all four of those front guns, all four of those citadels were from my front guns. No shells from the top gun end up uh, hitting him, is what I mean to say. Only one gun did that. I start rushing into this Iowa, so that way he can't turn in and bow tank me. He has to come out around me. Flat broadside. Um, reach those turret angles here. I mean, I'll just let that feat speak for itself. Wipes the floor with this guy. Six One citadels, two me. dev strikes back to back. At two salvos in a row were dev strikes on battleships. You can see ten citadels, two dev strikes, first blood, close quarters expert, and three kills already. The guys on my flank didn't do but 5,000 damage to those guys. I mean, that was all me, you know? Every bit of that flank was wiped out by me. Um, for those of you curious who I'm running, it's AL Dunkirk. Um, nothing too high rank, but that's my commander. Richelieu could do the same things that this one's, that uh, Dunkirk does in this video. That said, maybe even better. I don't think I get to use all my heals. <coughs> um, I ricochet off the Leon. It's kind of a far shot. He's a little bit angled. But I, I want some payback for this guy shooting at me. He's going to shoot AP. Not really going to get as much now that I don't have to give him blur outside. 
but he's still going to be taking those shots anyway. Um, at this point, we're pretty much just playing the chasing game. He's going to drop spot. I'm also going to drop spot. Um, let's see what happens to this Somers here. He's right by the Bismarck. Uh, he gets touched pretty good. But he does not get removed, unfortunately. Uh, mines, you can see, 18 kilometers away from me. No shot yet. I'm signaling the Somers to get taken out because I don't want him to you know, come back to bite us, right? Uh, mines is touched pretty good. He's just about dead. And they take him out. Uh, next up, Leon gets spotted by me. I'm going to take that shot with AP and switch to HE because I figure he's going to start angling. And uh, I don't think I can penetrate his armor too effectively if he's going to angle. And as you can see, didn't get anything off of that. Um, our heal comes up, so we go ahead and pop that. Leon is still AP shooting at us. He should be shooting HE, really, but, you know, I won't tell him that if you want, right? Turpets, 23 kilometers away from us, full health. They're, because of me wiping the floor with this flank, I've uh, pretty well neutralized their team. <clears throat> now you can see I swapped shells really quickly there. That's because I'm running the... Uh, I think it's the Frontal Fire perk, where it's the French AL Dunkirk exclusive that lets you switch shells instantly. I just didn't have her leveled up too far at this point, so it still took about six seconds. Um, we're just kind of slugging it out here with Leon. Nothing much else to say about it. I do have AP loaded, and this could potentially be a better shot now. He's got a pretty good angle. Let's see what happens here. Wait for it. There we go, 10k. That's a pretty good salvo. We get our high cal there. The only reason we didn't have that before is because we didn't do damage to four ships. So you got to do at least damage to four ships. Doesn't matter how much you do to three of them. Um, he's still shooting at us. I mean, took a shot with AP. I wish I'm kind of wishing I'd done AG in that scenario. But you'd see, I kind of am looking at that Vanguard now. You know, just because Vanguard's got horrible firing angles, it's more often than not going to be showing a pretty flat broadside, right? Which he is to us. So I kind of start to ignore the Lion or the Leon. My team is focusing in pretty good, so I'll just kind of work on that Vanguard. I'm not too scared about the Leon. More scared of the Vanguard, for sure. Um, go ahead and switch the shells to AG, which was a mistake, and I realize it. And go ahead and switch back to AP, because I see that Vanguard, right? Hit our engine boost to try and speed up there. Uh, I'm running the Megalomania instead of gyrating drill bits, and it kind of helps out quite a bit in this match. You can see the speed would be suffering quite a bit if we were running the perk that takes down speed. Flat broadside Vanguard, we take that shot. Let's see what happens here. He's also shooting at us with AP, but uh, only 8,000 damage. Nothing too fantastic there, right? But. You know, we'll chunk this guy little by little. Um, he's still shooting AP. I think he's going to wise up and start shooting HE because he'll have a hard time penetrating Richelieu with AP, uh, especially in Vanguard. So, he's going around that corner. And, uh, again, I'm just trying to keep... My goal here is to keep a flat broadside as long as possible. In this case, it means I need to keep going straight. Um, just so that way... When he comes out, he's still going to be flat to me. So, we achieve our goal. He's still pretty well flat broadside. We shoot just above the waterline because it's kind of a bug right now where shells are falling short. So, uh, in any case, nothing too fantastic. 7,800. He is getting chunked, no doubt. But, you know, these really should be Citadels. Vanguard gets, it gets wiped out really easily in most cases. Still shooting HE at us. Um... Uh, it's a half decent salvo there, but nothing too fantastic. Again, shooting AP. This time we try right at the waterline. 8,000 damage again. Uh, it's the luckiest Vanguard player I've ever seen in my life. We notice the Somers is one tap, but he's behind the island. And this is about the point where I realize okay, it's a good chance torpedoes are coming. Uh, but I don't know where. So my goal is kind of keep relatively straight towards where that Somers was, just so that way I prevent, present a narrow angle. Uh, get a bad result off of that, and here come the torpedoes. He's almost done. We pop our secondary booster, but 
Sommer's Torps hurt, so he takes us out. Let's see where we've ended up. 191,000 damage, 10 citadels, a fire, 29 secondary hits, 3 kills, um, 2 dev strikes, high cal, first blood, and close quarters expert. This mines goes ahead and launches torps at that vanguard and is shooting AP for some reason at his bow. Um, gets him with a torp, and this vanguard should be pretty well done. There he goes. Uh, so now all we got is Leon that's done really nothing but snipe me at the beginning of the game and then run off. Uh, versus our Sommers, our, what is that, a Bismarck? Yeah, it's a Bismarck. And then a, their Sommers is one tap, so second he gets spotted, he's dead. Uh, Leon is getting spammed by Bismarck secondaries and Sommers guns. This looks like he may take a Torp out there. Bismarck hits him fairly good. Uh, he does eat a small Torp. And uh, I think he's flooding. Looks to me like he's turning back in to try and get a ram, but there's just, there's no way. Sommers torps the Bismarck. Um, Bismarck looks like he's going to run into those. Let's see here. Yep, takes one, and I think he, if I remember right, starts the perma flood, which is not good. Down goes the Leon, and there's the Sommers. Bismarck got a few secondaries off at it. Uh, no kill, though. No kill. And Bismarck is, if nothing else, on fire, so he's he's going to die. His health was pretty low when I last saw it. Uh, at this point, just waiting on intelligence data. It's, uh, it's a long, drawn-out thing, unfortunately. Our mines is over in C, capping C. We have all three caps, and this game's pretty well wrapped up, right? Um, if you guys have not seen it already, I do have a review of the Flandre up on my channel. That is a great ship. Check that out. I have three live, no cherry-picked games. Just whatever happens, happens. All three of them against Legendary Tier. Uh, so be sure to check that one out. Uh, down goes the Bismarck due to flooding. It's going to happen eventually, but again, this game's over. Um, aside from that, let's see. Our... Sommers is pretty much camping in a smoke screen for the looks of it. Uh, I think it takes a good while for this, uh, this Sommers to get spotted again. I think it's the mines that comes around the corner and spots him. If you have a look at the mini-map, I was kind of on my phone <laughs> instead of recording this, but you know, the, the first the first part of the match was just too crazy not to, not to show, right? Um, we like I said, mopped the floor with the entire red team flank that spawned against me. So I, I pity anyone that was on that flank. I just... And what's shocking to me is neither the cruiser or the battleship that spawned with me lived through this game, despite not getting damaged at all or having to do any work for the flank they spawned in. So this one's a victory, no question about it. 191,000 damage, 3 kills, 10 citadels, 29 secondary hits, close quarters, first blood, high cal, and 2 back-to-back -back dev strikes, which is crazy. Top of the leaderboard, 2699 base XP. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was a lot of fun to play. A uh, lot of fun to... It was a game that really just cemented Breach Lowe's my favorite ship in the game. So if you haven't already, check, drop a sub. I'd really appreciate it. Check out my Flandre review. Um, I live stream a lot. I've got a lot of crazier games than this even. I've got a couple in Vladivostok, Yamato, Conquer, uh, Iowa that are even better than this. But uh, this was just, it's too crazy that I'm off the floor with the, the flank. Anyway, uh, check out my Flandre review. Leave a sub. Leave a like, comment. Appreciate it. Have a good day, guys.